Well, it's an entirely contingent historical fact that we have a discipline. In the old days, economists did the philosophy of economics themselves, but then they professionalized. Now they're busy putting you know, three articles in top five journals before the age 30 in order to get tenure, and obviously that doesn't leave time for philosophizing. So we have a profession. And because of that contingency, I don't think there are any essential timeless questions uh, to philosophy of economics. Rather, we have a platform and we have to use it responsibly. And the platform is to speak about philosophical, roughly uh, ethical, methodological questions about knowledge of the economic realm and uh, do them well with uh, you know, commitment to, to academic excellence, but also to social relevance. Officially, when I did my master's degree at LSE in 98, Philosophy of Social Science, uh, that's where I had wonderful teachers uh, and uh, met my uh, uh, co-author and partner, Robert Northcott, uh, also a philosopher of economics. But if I had to trace it back, I think growing up in Soviet Union uh, co with its collapse, uh, with lots of economic expertise arriving uh, from the West with claims about how uh, to organize a society properly, how to organize an economy, and an enormous uncertainty existing about whether their claims are true. Uh, it, when you are a teenager, you always question adults around you, and it's a very stressful time. But imagine if uh, adults have no idea either. So I think there's a strong sense of um, uncertainty about whether there is even such a thing as knowledge of the social and economic realm. My fundamental interest is in uh, the process when uh, concepts and knowledge claims uh, make a trip from the informal realm of uh, life, literature, to the formal realm of science and theorizing. And uh, economics and happiness are very similar in that way. Uh, economics is a formalization of uh, regular sense-making um, of people and uh, sciences of happiness is a formalization of the big questions of how to live and any time you make uh, something formal you introduce rules about uh, how it should be done how it should be measured how it should be studied uh, there is an enormous opportunity for progress and then there is also some things lost so those trade-offs uh, interest me in both of those realms. Surely being able to come to Italy for the first time, is that good enough? Well, absolutely. So uh, some, of the, some of my favorite work in uh, philosophy of happiness is work that is uh, um, trying to um, help and enhance scientific ability to detect and measure happiness, measure, measure those, uh, uh, ma make those measures uh, richer, more true to life. So I'm a great admirer, for instance, of Dan Habron's work on emotional state theory of happiness, which is, uh, um, which is making an immeasurable difference to um, the sciences of happiness. So yes, you can do a lot. Well, it certainly isn't difficult now, um, but uh, I have succeeded as uh, a woman in philosophy of economics precisely because uh, the, uh, my teachers, both men and women, invested enormous resources, extra support, extra sensitivity, in, with incredible generosity uh, to help me uh, get through this difficult process of first figuring out what contribution you could make, making that contribution, communicating this contribution to people. 
Well, it's hard uh, to think of um, my work without the influence of Nancy Cartwright, my uh, dissertation supervisor and mentor. Uh, she gave me an appreciation of what it means for uh, knowledge become formal, for knowledge to become applied, and she gave me uh, just a great deal of respect for the sort of the less glamorous side of social sciences, the, the application side, the qualitative uh, method side, and the, the engineering side rather than the theoretical one. Well, my advice would be probably similar to uh, what it would be um, to a young philosopher of uh, uh, any gender. Uh, you have to choose a topic that you believe in, a topic that is a genuine sunrise topic and you shouldn't be doing it just because other people find it interesting. You should be uh, really emotionally committed to solving a particular problem. That's the first thing. The second thing, not to assume that uh, the academic world and uh, the jobs at university is the right arena in which to make a contribution to philosophy of economics. Uh, and yes, and of course, in the end, um, uh, not forget about your professional responsibility to um, make our environments one that we would want uh, our students um, future philosophers of economics to go into and work hard to make it uh, inclusive, uh, warm, kind, friendly, socially responsible and also fantastically intellectually vibrant and fun.